No. Hello. I didn't see you there. Come in. And welcome to another episode of Fun with Drawing. Hi. I'm Rob Foss. And today we're going to learn how to draw a bee. Honeybees are super important. They transfer pollen between the male and female parts of the flower, allowing plants to grow seeds and fruit. Honeybees live together in hives, also known as colonies, where they make honey. What you're going to need is some paper, and something to draw with. I'm going to be using a black marker, but you should probably use a pencil and an eraser. That way, if you make a mistake, you can easily erase it. All right, so we're going to start with just a simple circle near the middle of the page. And it doesn't have to be too big, but let's just start drawing. We'll do a circle, nice round circle as best you can. There you go. Now right next to this circle, we're going to add another circle. Nice and round. Oh. Connect it there, all right. In between these two circles, right underneath, we're going to add a tiny little circle. That's going to be the nose. Now we're going to add the bottom right of this big circle here. We're going to add another little circle. And this time we're going to fill it and the same little idea on the side here, a little circle, bottom left corner, and fill it in. All right, now we've got our eyes, tiny nose, so we're going to do the head next. Head's going to be another circular shape. You could start right here at this part of the eye, down, down and around, toe, Hit the other eye like that. Now we're going to make this a nice happy little bee. We're going to start on this side here. We're going to do a curve into a smile. There you go. He's pretty happy. But let's make him really happy. So we're going to start at this corner. Go way down. Back up again. And there. Look at that. Nice, very happy bee. And the next step is we're going to add a body. So we're going to go, we're going to do the same idea with the head. It's going to be a lot bigger and more of an oval shape instead of a circle. So we're going to start right here, this part right here. And we're going to go down, 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 down. Start to curve up around. Keep the same shape on this side. There you go. Now we need to add the signature thing of a bee, which is its wings. You can't fly without wings. So we're going to take that same kind of idea, the same kind of shape, but we're going to do it sideways, and we're going to start from the head here. So we're going to start right here, all around like this. And this will be a bit wider than the body. Come back. That's one wing. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Don't worry, they're not exactly the same size. See, they're not the same size as mine, but that's okay, because it's a unique bee. Not every two bees are the same. We're going to add on the bottom here, the bee stinger. Don't worry, the bees will only sting you if you upset them, but this bee, he's a happy little bee. He won't, he won't get upset easily. All right, let me fill that in there. Now, we're going to add the antenna. So, start with the right eye here, kind of near the middle of the eye. You're going to do like a big spiral kind of shape. So, you're going to go all around, turn, 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 and that's going to go in, kind of like a a seashell and stop. At the end, we're going to add a little circle like that. And we're going to fill that in here. And this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go all around, 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 around. Turn in, turn in, turn in. Stop. Circle. And we're going to fill that in. There you go. Now we're almost done with our bee. But something is missing. Do you know what it is? That's right. The stripes. 
let's add them in. So we're going to add a stripe right here and do a circular shape again. And then we're going to do the same shape just a little bit lower. Like that. And now we're going to fill that in so it looks thick. Don't worry if you can't get it all colored. There you go. We're going to do three stripes on this piece. So between here and the bottom, we're going to add another line. And underneath that, just like before, same thing. We're going to fill that in. Great. Now just one more line right here on the bottom. That again, just a bit below. Fill that in. And there we go. We're done our B. I'm going to call this B George. I just showed you one way to draw a B, but you can use the same steps and a little tweaking to make your own. Here are three other examples of B's I made. Using the same technique I just showed you, but with different sizes of each shape, you can get different bees. So you can make your own unique bee. Here are some examples that I did. You could play with the size of the head. You could play with the size of the eyes and the shapes. You could play with the number of stripes, even the size of the wings and the antennas, and how much you spiral them or don't. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you to make your own special happy little bee. Now that we're done drawing, we can add color to it. I went ahead and colored my own. I used yellow colored pencils, but you could also use crayons or markers or paint. Anything you have at home will work. I think we're ready to add this to the wall. Let's go. For this last part, I cut out my bee. I use scissors, so you better ask your parent or guardian to help you with that part. Now, let's add George to the wall. There he is, with all his happy little friends. Thank you for watching Fun With Drawing. My name is Rob Foss. And remember, everything's going to be all right.